Well, John and Kristen have the night off. Central New Yorkers have heavy but grateful hearts tonight. Heavy because of the immeasurable loss of local Holocaust survivor Helen Sperling. Sperling passed away yesterday at age 95. It's a loss especially for future generations who will not have the privilege of hearing her speak. News Channel 2's Jolene Ferris joins us now live with more on this story. Good evening, Jolene. Thank you, Skyler. Helen Sperling shared her story with local students, many of whom would enter the school assembly very distracted and fidgety. But the second Helen began speaking, complete silence. And today, two years after some heard her speak, they remember what she said as though it was yesterday. Books and computers are one way to get your history. When you read World War II in a textbook, it's not as effective as if you hear it from firsthand from someone who experienced especially such a traumatic experience as she did. She is Holocaust survivor Helen Sperling. Helen relived those dark, unspeakable experiences most would like to forget. She relived them in school auditoriums all over central New York. And the young students who sat riveted in those auditorium seats remember. It's been two years since Rena heard her speak. She was best friends with this one girl. And once all like the hatred came because of like the time period, she um, she called this girl up to wish her happy birthday, and the father got on the phone and he was like, "Oh, you can't talk to my daughter," and and all these things. And I just remember that like really hitting me. Helen Sperling endured Polish concentration camps, separation from her family, being ostracized because of her beliefs. Like what we think is a big deal really isn't when you look at all the things that she was through. There would be no eye rolling or yawning when Helen spoke. No matter how old the students in the audience, there was only silence, awe, respect. And today, there is immeasurable loss. Aside from the personal connection they had had with her and the conversations we had and the personal loss, that's the first thing I thought of after that was the kids won't ever hear her again. It was very sad because I felt like a part of our history went, but the truth is her story will never die. Helen Sperling was predeceased by her husband. They did have two children and we're told there is a public event being planned so that anyone who knew her or just wants to honor her, express their gratitude, can do that. We're told it will probably happen sometime in early January. We'll keep you posted. Back to you for now, Skylar. Thank you, Jolene. Well